Uh, we're having fun here. We always enjoy our conversations, even in the commercial Yes, break. we do. Uh, but we, let's talk apples, shall we? Yeah, it's a delicious mm. time of year here in Minnesota. Of course, it starts apple season. And whether you are inhaling honey crisps or favor the first kiss, there are plenty of locally grown apples available for picking and for eating. Yeah, Garden Guy Dale K is live at the Loose Line Orchard in Watertown this morning with all the juicy details. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Cody. There really is no better time of year than the fall. Of course, we've got the change of color in the leaves coming up, but really even better than that is a trip to a local apple orchard. And actually, Minnesota has over 100, more like 120 different apple orchards that you can visit all around the state. You mentioned this morning we are live here in Watertown and by crikey, what a little piece of heaven here. Rolling farmland, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we are at Loose Line Apple Orchard and that name comes from about a 30 mile beautiful state trail that you can actually go from, I think from Hutch all, all the way down to uh, wherever that is. It's, it's a 30 mile trail. We're actually right in the middle of it here in Watertown. Joining me this morning, Terry Train, Hi. Hi. So how do you go from being like radio star to like apple grower, farmer? Was thing? I a star? Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's you. what they say. <laughs> Thank you. I feel really good about that. Um, uh, the orchard, we were starting that while I was in radio. So um, it, it just kind of, we needed to hurry with it a little bit more as things progressed. Uh, but it's going really well. Uh, we had a tornado in 2015. We lost half of oh, our no. apple trees. 5,000 of them we replanted. This is the first year they're fully producing, or most of them are anyway. So it takes a long time to, it took a long time to recover from that. And you have pick your own, right? So yep. people, folks can come out. Yep, we have pick your own. Uh huh. And how many varieties are being picked right now? Uh, we have, we're just starting Honey Crisp this week. We have uh, Zestar and Sweet Tango. And oh we gosh, have a horse. rescue horse that's coming through. So, I'm the, so sorry. okay, this is the this is the best thing about Come Loose here, Line boss. Apple Orchard. Of course, what? there is the apples. We'll talk about the apples, but you guys are doing so much more. Really, a great family kind of event center almost here. What do you got? What else do you have going on going uh, on apart from pick your own apples? We have uh, lots of things. We have corn maze, uh, thirty acres. We have a sunflower field. We call it Sunflower City that you walk through before you get to the orchard. Um, we have a new jumping pillow, which I had to convince my husband Rich to put in. Uh, that's a hit. Um, we also have a free corn tent for kids to play in. We have some things that are free as well. Um, a zip line for kids, a little zip line that's free. Um, we have hay mountains, a swing set. Uh, let's see, what else do we, we have? Puppies. Lots of stuff. <laughs> We the have, nature trail is my absolute favorite part of the farm. Oh, you That's are, our daughter, Abby, you holding are, you, the horse, you just the, So tell me the story about the horse. It's a rescue horse. She's a rescue. We got her in June, and our little puppy boss is now behind her, which is worrying me. Um, he's a Bernese mountain dog. Oh, oh. Okay. And, and, so anyway, um, she is rescued. She's up about 150 pounds since June, and uh, she was in very tough shape. We got her feet done. She got a tooth pulled. And she was kind of at death's door, and we knew no one would take her because she, she can't be ridden. Her feet are so bad. Does she and like apples? Loves them. She Love. finally had an apple after no, her, teeth her teeth got done. done. Yeah, oh. she couldn't eat bad apples teeth. before before that. So. So what's she, what's the what's the the most fun about, or what do you like most about having an orchard? Uh, I really I well we do concerts out here, and we just had one. On Saturday night, a John Denver tribute band, Lane Yost, he was amazing. And they've never played outdoors. They always sell out theaters, and we do free concerts. So it was awesome. That's I mean, wonderful. from my it, perspective, people are actually happy when they're out here. Yeah, okay. Abby, spending time together. Abby yeah. says that, that, that people are happy when they're here, of course. I'll just throw the mic over to her. Okay, so <laughs> what, 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 like what, what type of apples are we, what, what type of apples do we have here? Sweet Tango. Uh, Zestar and uh, uh, let's see what else Honeycrisp, and then um, we have our sangrias, which are uh, sweet tango sangria, which is instant happiness. Okay. I'm going to try and get an apple first. <laughs> okay, Dale's going an, the healthy I, route. If I can grab an apple first, okay. And okay. we're also doing honey, right? Yep. So that you grabbed a sweet tango. Okay. Uh, we do our own honey, and that go that credit all goes to my husband Rich. He's amazing. He keeping bees is very difficult 
Last year we lost all of our bees. Oh, I was going to eat that apple. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about this really quick before we go. Okay, okay. This, this one is... That's a caramel apple sangria. Abby came up with these recipes. Our daughter Paige came up with the apple fritters, okay. which Rich oh, is making. That's so good. That's so good. And then this one here? That's sweet tango. That's my favorite. Sweet cocktail. tango sangria. So good. Mm. <laughs> Hang on. I think it's this one. Oh, really? You like yeah. the sweet, sweet? We're kind of like we're kind of like chalk and cheese, you and me. Uh, yeah, we are. We are. Is that a good thing? That's good. That's good. You invented this one? I did. A lot All of right. went into production. That one's the money. Uh, sweet tango <laughs> apple ham. Mm. It kind of matches your shirt. Oh, it matches my shirt. There you have it. So, most importantly, great weather to go out and visit an orchard. Of course, we are here at Loose Lime in beautiful Watertown. So much more. So much more than just a regular orchard. Yeah, so as we learned, uh, the rescue horses and the other animals. There's and, a lot uh, happening yeah. there. Uh, and meanwhile, you, you got to the sangria and I stopped listening. Can I just have the sangria, and the please? sangria, yeah, I know. Just bring I, that. Oh, it, is, it, is so, it is so good. It is so good. I think I'm going to chug it after I'm off <laughs> here. Okay. I, I, probably get, I, I probably can't do it. I probably can't do that. I'll probably get in trouble, but trust me, Cody, T chugging. Tell you what, Dale, <laughs> chug that sangria and then post a video of the after effects. Yeah, that's I mean, real definitely fun. Yeah, does it, <laughs> TV doesn't, the doesn't the government get involved when I start drinking on the telly? Probably. Isn't that a problem? Possibly. Shh, don't tell anyone. No one knows. Yeah, I'm not even going to post it. <laughs> no one knows. I'm not going to post Dale. it. You know me, Cody. Send, send me a video. Bye -bye. And say hi to Terry Train. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Dale.